Good morning, kids. Today I am going to explain again how we are going to do this fun, fun activity about life cycle of a plant. Okay? In our activity, we are going to plant a bean seed in a bag. What will we need for these activities? For this activity, so for this activity, we are going to need three paper towels. Okay, kids? We are going to need three Ziploc bags. We are going to need a stapler and we are going to need water. But do not forget the bean seed. Okay, kids? A bean seed. You will need at least three bean seeds. Okay? Then, what we're going to do is, we are going to get a cardboard, okay? And on the cardboard, we are going to staple our three baggies. One here, one here, and one there. To get those three baggies ready for our seed, we will have to... Fold this in half, fold our paper towel in half, right kids? And fold the corner at least three quarter, right? Just like that. And then you fold the corner. When you fold it this way, you are going to put it inside your C-plug bag. When you put it in the Ziploc bag, just like this, kiddos, make sure you have room here. This space here will be with water because this water is what's going to help your little seed that is going to be standing around here, right, guys? The seed will be around here, and then this water will keep the paper towel wet. It will be watered paper towel because you need the water to germinate a seed because plants need water, sunshine, right, guys, and light. So then we are going to put our water down here, staple this to our cardboard, right, right in the middle here. We're going to staple it right in the middle, put a whole bunch of staple. So the seed doesn't fall through. Once I put all my staple, staple to my cardboard, then I throw my seeds in here. I put five or six seeds inside. Okay, kids? I know I told you three seeds, but no. You will need a whole bunch of seed and you throw them in there because you don't know what seed is the one that is going to germinate. Okay? So then what is going to happen, kids? Once you do all this... This is what your uh, plant cycle will look like. Did you see? I staple my baggie from here to here. One, two, three, four, five. Whole bunch of staple across. Once I got a staple, then I put my seed in here. You see that? Inside here. I throw like five or six seeds in there. Okay, kids? See, the water is down here. That water is keeping my paper towel moisture. It's always watered, okay, to water my plant all the time, okay? The three ones, three baggies, three paper towels, a whole bunch of seed. You can plant corn, any seed you want. You can do whatever you want, but you need to do it in the bag, okay, kids? Then, day by day, what we are going to do, well, I'll let you know right now. Day by day, what you need to do is, you are going to observe. Look at your three baggies there on that cardboard, right? With the paper towel and water and your seed, right? Staple to the cardboard. You are going to observe. I am sending you guys right now a handout that you're going to find down there, somewhere down there, is a handout 
the handouts you need to print it out and every day you are going to write down what you see you need to observe that is what a good scientist do scientists observe changes when they do an experiment and this being in a bag is an experiment for science that we are going to learn about the life cycle of a plant day one you're going to tell me oh nothing is happening day one mrs morrow oh day two nothing is happening but you're going to start seeing some changes maybe a week after so i am going to send you the handout to start on day four after you plant your seed on day four you start observing and writing stuff down because a lot of changes will be happening to your seed okay it will transform and will go through the five stages that i show you and i send you some homework to do about this the stages of a life plant okay right kids so if you have any questions about this explanation you still do not understand anything just call us email your teachers email mrs morrow let us know because we're here to help you so remember you are to do your being in a bag and it's going to be so much fun enjoy doing this fun fun activity learn lots from it and let your teacher know what you are observing write it down you are a fantastic scientist okay kids we are all scientists scientists are not always right guys sometimes they make mistakes that's why they need to write everything down to see what worked today and what doesn't work and with that i will talk to you later kids adios amigos